it is very important we go back look at the compassion that he had look at how he treated his spouses his family members look at what he did to those who were muslim around him those who were non-muslim they were in harmony and peace and look at how he stood up for justice against his own people and look at how he forgave at the moment when he knew that if he wanted he could have wiped out all those who had murdered in the past his own tribesmen and family men when he entered makkah to mukarrama there was a question that arose, a powerful question that arose because he was entering the city that he was born in. And at the same time, years later, entering this beautiful city as victorious people. There were within or there were people that dwelled within Mecca at that moment. And they were from amongst those who had stolen the property of the Muslims and they had killed large numbers of Muslims. They had prepared armies to fight the Muslims. And yet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as he entered this victorious, he entered the city, he humbled himself. He put his head down instead of entering with all pomp. No, he humbled himself. He lowered his head down and he entered it, declaring the praise of the Almighty. And the question arose, what are you going to do with these people? What are you going to do with us who have perpetrated so many crimes against you and against those who followed you? Today you have come to us victorious. At that moment, do you know what he did? The question was, oh people of Quraysh, what do you think I am going to do to you? Ya ma'ashara Quraysh, ma'adha tadunnuna anni fa'ilun bikum? Oh, people of Quraysh, what do you think I'm going to do to you? What's going to happen? And obviously this question was in order for them to think what they would have done if they were in that position. That's one of the reasons. Otherwise, he did not need to ask the question. So with all humility, they looked down with all humility. They said, we have good hope in you. You're a good man, the son of a good man. You're a nobleman. He says, the legacy he left, he says, you can go free. You are the ones you are free. No retribution today. I will tell you what my brother Joseph may peace be upon him told his brothers. No retribution against you today. Amazing. This was the legacy of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He forgave when he knew that he was able to revenge or to get back at those who had harmed him and his people. Still, he said, no, I will forgive you. Amazing. And as a result, so many of them entered the fold of Islam and so many of them saw the beauty and the light that he had been teaching all along.